my people this one shocked me you know like they said there is nothing hidden under the sun that cannot be revealed i have said it that one day now one day monkey go go market and no go fee come back right now Wumi has finally confessed i mistakenly stabbed my husband or more this one tough i don't know what the nigeria police are still waiting for seriously after this confession i don't know what they are still waiting for guys i'll play the audio for you to listen but before i do that if you are just meeting my channel for the very first time you're very much welcome please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever i upload any latest video let's go guys um the first lady that spoke that, that just uh talk right now she mentioned something she said Mumumi made a mistake by killing her husband of course mistakes happen and to me, I felt like that is what really happened. That Wumi actually made a mistake. And um, and to think of it, Wumi have an um, she has a um anger money um uh, anger issue, you know, because if you look at the the voice note and everything that would be listening to her talk, oh, you can tell she have an um, she has an anger issue. So now, Wumi just need to come out. Because people with the right mind will not say it's bully that came about. Why? Um, if what happened happened on sa on Sunday, and on Tuesday you cry out by saying they killed your husband, they did this, they did that. But this guy went to a show on Sunday. There was a fight. Of, you said there was. She said there was a fight with um, him and a prime boy. And she narrates what happened that uh, Mubad punched, punched uh, the Prado, whatever car, and that's why he has a cut in his hand. That is not what happened. What really happened is there was a fight between Wumi and Mubad. It led, that's what led to his death. Wumi made a mistake by stabbing uh, Mubad in a wrong Fine. place. And Hold on. someone to help. Hold on. Go ahead. Wumi made a mistake by stabbing Mubad. That's what you said. The yeah, accident. By accident. Oh, yes, accident. I'm coming. Yeah. Was there any research from you that is pointing to that? Sorry. Uh, because of the the the, the analysis that, that was given to us by the police, they said Mubad was bleeding previously. And um, I look at the video that that that, that uh, what's it called? Prime Boy and uh, whatever they bring out. I analyze the whole video, and I noticed that. There was a stab by b b beside uh, Mubad. There was a stab beside him, and he, I think he has like three three places where he was bleeding in his neck as well. He had a stab mm -hmm. on his neck. Yes, that was the reason why the, um, his head was bent when it was put in into the into the coffin. Like Mubad was stabbed. Yes. By Please, uh, you said you, you said it that you said it was mobile was mistakenly stabbed by Mumi, or probably yeah, because mistakenly there was stabbed Mubad. Yeah, no, no, Mumi's mistakenly stabbed Mubad because there was an argument happening in that house, which is on Monday. I would love to Sunday have night. that proof, please. I would love to have that. I would love to have that. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, let me see. I can send it to your uh, to your. D you can send it to me, right? Because yeah, I've not, I've not got yes, that in, in my over six months of uh, commitment to this case. I've not seen that proof anywhere. Yeah. Oh, you've not seen the, you've not seen the video that was that I sent out that was said. Um, uh, Mubad is dead. Mubad is dead with this. Um, four guys or okay, three guys no, why no, would just, say, just, just forward to me later and continue your analysis because i would love to have that proof god bless you thank you okay all right okay, so what for me is just saying now is just um just trying to divert the attention to people that um that bullied mubad you know that is what she was she's trying to do now you know if you know you look your husband all heartedly you should know that no matter what you do, all what you'll be seeking for is a justice for your husband. You have kids, you have a child for him. So we, I mean, let, I mean that's what we should believe now. Until we started asking for DNA tests, you know what I'm saying? 
and the DNA test, the way people have been yelling, shouting, and everything, give up, give me pressure. That is the reason why she's writing all this letter. People have been pressurizing her with all these um, bloggers and everybody talking and everything. That's what. That's the reason why she went out to write this. You know. So all she's just doing now is just to divert people's attention concerning the whole thing. Okay, I want you to wrap up please, so, so that I can pick the next person. I see, I see some people boiling already. So. And a lot of requests in comment section. I uh, over okay. 500 viewers right now. Oh, okay, I mean, so I can't mention the ones that are behind the door. And uh, on, on Facebook, to so many viewers. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, Facebook people, I greet you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, let's go. Wrap up, please. Yeah, the, the DNA test, if she knows that she wants to do the DNA test, um, she's a Yoruba lady. Oh. You don't have to tell your father-in-law to go to the court or to go to wherever to get you a paper before you can go ahead and do a DNA test. If you know that the child belongs to Mubad and you want people to stop um, you know, calling you out, saying all kinds of things to your name, just take this baby. You said these are people who are in the music industry, they want to kill you or whatever. If you know that is what uh, you think or what she thinks, she can take the baby to Berekete. And let, Berek and let people know I'm in Berekete. So if anything should happen to me, then she held Berekete responsible because now Berekete will be the one to secure her. That is if she knows she's ready for the DNA. So that's, that is on the DNA part. She's just lying. She doesn't want to do the DNA. That one is obvious. We don't really know what caused the argument between she and Mubad that led to the fight. We don't really know. So people are saying because of the DNA, people are saying because Mubad already found out the baby is not his, and so on and so forth. You know, that is what people are keep saying. And if she want to clear her name right now, if she want people to be looking at the music industry, they don't want to kill Mubad, she should just do the DNA. Once she do the DNA, everything, the other attention is going to be diverted from her. Can you hear me, Vesto? No, people... Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, if she wants, if she just wants um, everything, the attention to be diverted from her, she should go ahead and do the DNA test. Even though people are still going to still be talking about how uh, she's going to kill her husband, at least that one will leave her to tell people that, okay, now I did the DNA test. So, what else do we want? She's supposed to be the one crying, yelling, going to the station every day. Going to the police uh, to come to online to tell people, you guys should help me, you guys. You know, to me, I felt like the corona inquest was brought up based on the quarrel they have between Baba Mubad, Yamubad, and uh, Wumi. That is what they, that is what the corona, that is what they brought up the corona, uh, the corona inquest for, to me, not for the justice for Mubad. You know, if they feel like they right. want justice, if she feel like she want justice, she should just do that all that that oh. just the DNA test alone will help her a lot. I mean, all right, so thank you for that. Um, talk, thank you, God bless you. I will still allow you to talk now later. Um, I greet you, Mr. Andy. I greet you, have not ERBG. Welcome. I greet uh, Be Good Omolayo. Welcome, Annie Asuko. I greet you. Queen Treasure, God bless you. Okay, now more evidence are coming out every day by day. You can imagine this one now. We least expected Wumi to come and say this in public. Just like this person claimed that Wumi said he mistakenly stabbed the husband. You can imagine. You mistakenly stabbed your husband and you could not come at for a very long time to tell the public that this is what happened to Mobad. You are saying it now. My people, this one eh, is very serious. This thing is very serious. I have said it before. Mobad did not buy a natural buy. Because you can imagine when Papa Mobad said he went to Mobad's house and he saw a pool of blah blah on Mobad's bed. The bed sheet was soaked. You can imagine now, guys. Someone that was not sick, they did not inform the father that the child was sick. All of a sudden, in fact, they didn't even call him that the child by. They were doing it. Woo -woo 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 -woo. If not that Papa Moba played a smart move, he wouldn't have known that that is what happened to his son. But because he took that very bold step to go to Mobad's house, that is why Papa Mobad was able to know what he did to Mobad. In fact, he saw everything before they could hide it. My people, wonders shall never end. Nigeria, Nigeria, 
when will you people change? Nigeria government. You are in fact, eh? This is so annoying. This is so very, very annoying. You can imagine the psychology that these people did. They did not conduct this of eh, effort, eh? I share tears for Nigeria. There is nothing like justice. There is nothing like justice. Don't just hope for anything. Except God intervene. Except God take over. Because this old thing, eh? It has really gone out of hand. For government to be taking side with Wumi, that means Wumi has a very high connection, both in the government house and also, in fact, within that Ikorodu, Wumi has level. But the one thing they fail to know is that she, she don't have level than God. God is the most powerful. When God wants to fight battle, he don't look back. When he wants to fight battle, only one day is enough for him. That is what they fail to know. So they should continue playing their trick. They should continue doing what they are doing. We will continue shouting justice for Mubad. And we will continue fighting justice for Mubad. Until finally God will intervene and Mubad get justice. So that this all thing evil that they are doing in Nigeria, that are perpetrating in Nigeria, we stop. Very annoying. Seriously, I'm angry. I'm angry with the country that, in fact, eh, I'm even ashamed to even say this is my country. Because this old this thing eh, is not just happening just within Nigeria. People living outside Nigeria, they are still listening to what is happening. What are they trying to Tell the people, what are they trying to tell people about Nigeria? That Nigeria is a corrupt country. It is where anyway. Guys, what do you think about this whole issue? Please drop your comments in the comment section of this video. And if you are just meeting my channel for the very first time, you are coming across my channel for the, first, for the very first time, you're very much welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever I upload any latest video. I will not fail to appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. And to my returning viewers, thank you very much for viewing my videos. Guys, don't forget to share this video and also give this video a super thumbs up. This is Lightness Media, guys. I will see you in the next